We launched this program in 2011. Our mission was to develop a dermatology program with a special focus on multicultural skin. This is a program that is centered on what we call, quote, skin of color, which um, is focused on people of non-European descent, people with brown and darker skin. Why is this important? It's important for a number of reasons. First of all, what we call ethnic skin or darker skin is a little, it's different. Skin is skin, but certainly darker skin reacts differently. Things look different in darker skin. Um, you have to know the differences. The beauty of darker skin is that it is darker, so you don't get a lot of sun damage. The sort of downside to that is because darker brown, light brown, olive skin has more pigment, it tends to respond to all kinds of injury with pigmentation. So one of the most common problems we see is hyperpigmentation, which can be quite devastating. You know, when you have darker spots, also hypopigmentation or lightening, and that is how darker skin may respond to all kinds of different types of injuries. Darker skin, because it has um, built-in sunscreen, so to speak, M more melanin, ages a little differently. Darker skin t tends to develop volume loss more. Darker skin also develops pigmentary changes, more like the liver spots that you see are, are often more common in olive skin than lighter skin. There are certain conditions that are found more commonly in the darker skin types. Scarring and keloids are a big one. So keloid is a scar that has overgrown its natural boundaries, where someone's had their ear pierced and they'll have a big scar on their ear, or they've had thyroid surgery and they have an enlarged scar. Let's take eczema. Very common, right? Eczema and something that we call seborrheic dermatitis, which is when people get redness and scaling around their mouths and nose. That's very, very common. Now, in lighter skin types, it's typically red and scaly. In darker skin types, it can be uh, light or dark. It can be raised. And it can be misdiagnosed if you don't know what you're looking at. The treatments are essentially the same, but you have to be cognizant, again, of what skin that has more melanin in it can do. So, for instance, a lot of the steroid creams that we use, the corticosteroid creams that we use for so many things, eczema, psoriasis, all types of rashes, on darker skin, if they're too strong or used for too long a period of time, they can cause lightening of the skin. And that can last a long time. Here at Brigham and Women's Hospital and our dermatology department, we provide a wide range of cosmetic or aesthetic dermatology uh, procedures and services. Our dermatologists uh, are well trained and have extraordinary expertise treating all different skin types effectively and safely.